Yo, there's a blitz over here. I think that's a blitz. Oh my god. This fight is so good. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of iFish LI. Today I'm gonna be targeting uh, some Spanish mackerel off of a jetty. Um, so what I'm using is a deadly dick, size one long, with a um, little green teaser above it. And I'm just working it, I'm hitting it, letting it hit the water, let it sink a little bit, and then reeling it in at like a medium speed. Also, before the video gets started, I just wanted to mention I'm wearing this shirt I got from Seasick, that's C-S-I-K. I will link their website in the description if you guys want to check them out. They've got really, really good quality stuff. It's a super hot day out here. This is keeping me nice, dry, and cool. I, it's really nice quality and it's a pretty cool looking shirt. So definitely check them out. And if you want to buy anything, use code IFISHLI at checkout for 10% off. All right, let's get right into fishing. I also just wanted to quickly say at the end of this video, I'm going to be um, announcing a giveaway. So stay tuned for that for the end of the giveaway. And I'll also show you guys my other shirt that I got from Seasick. It's a lightweight hoodie. Great. I'll talk about it at the end of the video. So I'm just going to toss around this little cast master with a teaser above it. Yeah, so I actually lied about starting with the deadly dick. I started out with the cast master at first just because I thought I would get some more casting distance and I thought that the fish would have been keyed in on some bigger baits. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but there's like some nervous water uh, straight in the middle of the screen. And I think it was either sand eels or I don't really know what, but something was definitely underneath them. And just now I cast it right into the nervous water and felt a big thump and thought I had a small fish on, but it ended up being nothing. Yo, there's a blitz over here. I think that's a blitz. I... Some sort of blitz right here. Okay. I'm only using a seven foot rod, so casting distance is a problem. I snapped my eight foot rod, so I'm in the market for uh, finding a new one right now. So comment down below if you have any good eight foot surf rods that you would recommend. I was getting thumps on the Castmaster, but I wasn't getting any hookups, so I decided to switch over to a smaller presentation, tied on the size one deadly dick, and literally my first cast I hooked up. It always feels good when you switch lures and you end up hooking up on a fish. 
Oh my god. This fight is so good. Big Spanish man. Thank you. This is my biggest Spanish mackerel ever. Cool. I'm gonna get him right back in. He might. All right, so I I just landed my biggest Spanish mackerel ever. I'm pretty excited about it. He hit the uh, size one deadly dick. Uh, I. I think he was on like, they're on like a sand eel blitz or something like that. There's so many schools of like nervous water coming through. Not really totally sure if it's sand eels, but there's a good chance that it is. Uh, that was my biggest Spanish mackerel ever. He fought so good on the seven foot rod. That was, that was really, really awesome. So I'm gonna, gonna keep fishing. Hopefully uh, some more of those blitzes coming close so I can hook up again. Uh, yep. I'm walking back to my car now. I'm not calling it a day yet. I'll take some casts along the way. And there's another spot I'm gonna hit uh, deeper in the inlet that usually holds some smaller Spanish mackerel. So I'm thinking maybe there's a chance that I could get some over there. Um, it's been a long day for me. I filmed another video earlier in the day. That one's probably gonna come out after this one. Um, yeah, it's a really hot day. I need some water, head back to the car now. That was an awesome fish. I'm still so stoked about that. It had my rod like bent in half. That was really awesome. I'm happy it was a big, my biggest Spanish mackerel, but I was kind of really hoping it was a bonito. But the time will come where I catch my bonito. All right, back to fishing. All right, take a few casts on the walk back. Um, don't have much battery left in my GoPro. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I got a few things to talk about in the outro. I'm gonna start out with just a little recap on the video. So, I was doing a little bit of um, jetty fishing with my uh, seven foot rod. Not typical, what I would use, I would prefer to have been using an eight foot rod, but I actually snapped that, so um, drop a comment if you have any suggestions on a good eight foot rod for uh, light stuff like what I'm doing in this video. So basically what I was doing I was throwing around some lighter spoons uh, around the one ounce size and a little teaser above it and I was just doing a little medium retrieve letting it sink a little bit first and just medium retrieve um, 
There was some schools of some sort of bait fish be definitely being pushed up by some uh, predators. Uh, probably mostly Spanish mackerel and blue fl bluefish. Not totally sure though. I only caught one fish. Yeah, so they the the bait fish were definitely something of like a slim profile. Um, I was only able to hook up on the deadly dick and not the cast master. They were definitely keyed in more on the uh, deadly dick. So. This uh, video ironically ties in to the giveaway that I had posted on my Instagram uh, two days ago, and I'm doing a second uh, a second way to enter on uh, my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, what I'm giving away is basically all the lures that I was using in today's video. So, Deadly Dick, same one I used in today's video. Castmaster, same one I used in today's video two pack of runoff lures teasers these are actually just nicer teasers than the ones i was using in today's video and an eye fish eye sticker so you guys can use these exactly how i was using them in today's video i would actually put the teaser a little bit higher up than what i was doing in the video today um so how to enter um the way to enter on youtube you're gonna share this video with three people who don't know about my channel yet but would be interested so share it with three people uh be subscribed to my youtube channel like this video and just comment when you're done um and then i will pick a winner on uh, next next uh next tuesday i'll be picking a winner so that gives you one way to enter on Two more ways to enter are posted on my Instagram at iFishLi if you guys want to check that out. Um, definitely great lures, really, really great um, end of summer lures. Definitely, you'll be sure to catch some fish on those. So enter the giveaway. I just wanted to kind of give back to you guys for helping me reach my subscriber goals, stuff like that. So thank you guys so much. Uh, it's just kind of a thank you giveaway. Um, Next up, the final thing that I'm going to talk about in today's outro is the shirt I'm wearing. This is a shirt I got from Seasick. It's C-S-I-K. Um, it's an awesome performance gear fishing uh, company. They make some really, really nice um, like shirts like this to wear fishing. So they're lightweight, breathable, and... I wore it all day today and I was felt nice and dry and I felt cool I really really like the shirts and I really really like the designs and then this shirt here is the um, long sleeve with the hoodie that I got I wore this all day kayaking the other day same thing as this one and this one is a long sleeve so it keeps the Sun off your um, arms it's awesome and if you guys are interested in them I will link the um, website in my description of this video and if you guys want to get 10% off on any purchase on that website, you can use code iFishLI. So, thank you guys so much. I know this was kind of a long outro, but I just had a lot to talk about today. So, see you guys in the next video. Make sure to join the giveaway. Make sure to check out Seasick. Thank you guys.